Hey guys, so before we start off the episode, I want to let you all know something. This episode is a retake because the original video got corrupted. And after I recorded that episode, I did another one. So yes, because I continued on with the my file for this Let's Play, after that original video file, I have to make another file just to get back to where I left off on that video file. The one that got corrupted. And you can tell it's a little different, because the hat is a little different. And by different, I of course mean I didn't get this one in this file right here. But also you can tell that this is the third one because one, file three, and two, the icon on the left says I suck. Because it's true. Spoiler alert, we're going to be going there in, the, in this episode. Anyways, where we left off, well, this guy showed up, and I couldn't afford the compass badge. Until now, that is. So yeah, when you stand still, an arrow will pop up telling you where a certain, like, either a relic or, like, t rift tokens will be located at. And you have to kind of guess where they are from there, after you move. Pull out my map whenever you need to find relics. And since it was pointing over there, I'm presuming it's... Aha! So you need to get the ice hat to just jump over here and get your two rift tokens. And yeah, this is the uh, mail room, and getting here, your reward is your two Rift Tokens, and a ball! Unfortunately, if you want to play with this ball, you have to go back up there and then just bring it back down. And that's really about it. But anyways, with the hat you saw earlier, this is the um, sprint hat, like, another look for it. Instead of, like, the uh, little sprinting little air hat thing, whatever it's called. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's uh, go on to the next level that I said I would go to in, in the previous episode. That being... Picture Perfect. Welcome to the first day of shooting, darling. We need to transform you into the biggest movie star the bird world has ever seen. You need to become a diva. All right, sounds easy enough. That's why I've called for a press conference here on our moon set. You need to get out there in front of the cameras and electrify the public, darling. Get them really up and going for your movies. Let me rephrase that. That is easier! What did I say? Anyways, it's not that, it doesn't sound that hard, is what I'm trying to say here. Once you've got them going crazy, come back here and we'll show off our new prop. That's right. We'll unveil our new movie prop to the masses. Sounds super easy enough. What, man, why can I just not think of the proper, like, lines and stuff? Anyways, all you have to do in this level is just go to the penguins that you have question marks cameras and build up all kinds of fan club points. And that's it. But a cool little thing about this level, and uh, another one that's part of DJ Grooves, is that when you jump, it's, super, it's a little floaty. Which makes things life easy when it comes to getting around places. Oh, that's a nice picture there, buddy. Ow. Looks like it's endorsement time. All you penguins out there know my name. DJ Grooves. And I'm telling you, this young girl here is the next hot thing. Guaranteed. Look at how street smart this diva is. She's standing in this sinister alleyway right next to some potential wrongdoers. 
Danger is her middle name, and she's not afraid to step outside of her comfort zone. So, Cat Kid's full name is Hat Danger Kid? Huh. Didn't know that until now. So you join our fan club, DJ Grooves, out. Yeah, watch out for these cars, because I think they hurt you. Also, space aliens are an enemy now. They act pretty much the same way as the uh, raccoons do that you saw in Mafia City. Mafia Town. Same thing you said. Just look as she'll climb up this statue and rescue the poor puppy that has gotten stuck. Right, darling? I gotta save Carl. Again. Yeah. Look at that! She helped the puppy down safe and sound. Too bad it ran off and definitely didn't break into multiple pieces. This is truly a diva I can get behind. Let it be known that this little girl is all about animals. Just, you know, make sure that I don't have an umbrella nearby an animal and you'll be good. Yeah, he says that a lot. Oh, think there's a king down here, because I miss these guys. Now, there is, like, a limit to how many, like, you can do until, like, you get the max amount. But after you get, like, the max amount and then you have the, um, timepiece spawn, you can keep going. Also, this thing here. Ow. Okay, well, I guess that was a fair trade. It hurt me, and I kill it. If you want to get the most points, like, in these little levels in Battle of the Birds, you need to go th go find all of these pawns, take out a lot of enemies, and get all of these tokens. That is if the levels do have tokens, that is. Kind of weird how they made the the UFOs act very identical to the flying raccoons. I wouldn't think they would like, shoot a laser or something, you know? Oh, over here, okay. So you want to be a little careful with these um, wires, like foam. I think they're foam wires because they'll have those little um, th that thing, little yellow thing that you just saw, and they hurt. Okay. Well, didn't mean to hit that, but all right. I mean, it's that's like one of the easier ones to complete. Dang, Dang he has a really good um angle, like ways to get the. Oh, we got the Max Diva. The audience is going crazy, darling. Come over here and show off our new stunner, our new prop. <laughs> Yes, sir. But first, how did I get on that phone wire? I, I'm gonna keep going. Thank you. I wanna make sure all every nook and cranny of this area is has been looked through. Like here! Whew. You call, darling. Now, darling, I have to mention this. Cooking show hosts have a terrible track record of getting angry and swearing on screen. Try not to use the P word, okay? Don't say P E C K. Not a problem. I don't swear on camera, at least. The conductor is old fashioned. He throws that word around a lot. It'll get him in trouble someday. Until then, let's keep our show clean. I mean, as long as his content isn't made for kids, he's good, he's fine. <laughs> Even the biggest celebrities have to eat. And I've got with me the biggest celebrity of them all! Now tell us, darling, what kind of condiment do you like on your tuna sandwiches? The funny thing is you can actually say the, the that word, but because I'm a very good g boy slash girl, I will not say it. But I will say, though, mayo sounds good with a tuna sandwich. Amazing! I bet that eating tuna sandwiches like that is probably how she keeps a slim figure! Take note, Penguin viewers. Make sure you join up and- And he just went through this thing. <laughs> okay, um... 
All right, we got more pawns over here. I know it's completely unnecessary to be getting these pawns and stuff for extra points. But you know what? I, I This is the kind of thing I like to do. Hey, it's the this guy. The moon is pretty all right, kid. It feels great finally being here after all these years. But that darn Steve from work sent me a postcard from the sun. He says it's great. I can't believe that guy always trying to one-up me. That darn Steve always one-upping you. First you make it to, it's like, oh hey, I'm on the moon. It's pretty awesome here in one minute. And then the other minute, hey, check it out, I'm on the sun. <laughs> I'll play another one of these things. You penguins out watch as she beats these hard-boiled card players at their own game on her first try. This game is easy to understand, darling. You just guess which number of card the other player is holding from one to ten. Which card do you think he's holding? I'm not even, I'm not even gonna let you finish. Wow, fantastic, incredible! The answer is indeed three! Folks at home, you have just witnessed the stunning intuition of a true star! Make sure you join- If you want to, you can actually fail that on purpose. But because I like to actually be, I don't know, smart. For the most part. Wait, hold on, something doesn't seem right. Ah, here's the problem. No wonder why I haven't been grabbing all of these. I didn't have the compass. Bleh! I didn't have the magnet badge on! That explains way too much. But you know what? I see a yarn! I'll get to you when I can. Up camera! Thank you! I wasn't even jumping, but cool! If you go down here, there are just a couple of heart ponds. Just in case you're low on health. <laughs> Okay, I believe that's everything, so we can we can go. Nope, not quite. Sorry, I just like collecting all the pawns I can so that way I can have money to afford things. Let's go. Huh. 13 minutes into recording. Oh, and a little fun tip. Hold the A button just to get by that quicker. 524 and 5 tokens. Oh. Uh oh, he's got 1,024 points. With Conductor only at 720. Yo, it suck. If in the next episode, the points were a little different. That would just suck. Royally. But I will say though, from the future, I can tell you that for these upcoming levels for the Battle of the Birds, we not only need a certain amount of pawns, which I actually think we have enough of, but we also need a certain badge to move on. And to prove it... Well... You, you know what, I, I mean, let me just, uh... Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Well, you know what, I can just go here. Give me a second, I'm gonna go do this, uh, time rip real quick. Over here is the little time rift. I like how because the color palette is different, it makes it look like it's the, uh, story, like, time rift. Because it makes it look purple, even though it's not. Okay, that's kind of funny. Okay, so this one's uh, pretty simple. You just gotta push the little pads to make the little platforms, like, kind of go to where you are so you can move on. Just be a little, like, careful when it comes to, like, using the sprint cap. Because chances are you might just use it willy-nilly and you will just fall off and keep losing lives. And we got these little stupid spinning thingies that'll just want to ruin your day. We also have these spinning things. 
that have the pads on them. Yeah, at least you got a checkpoint. Yeah, let's just take these guys out. Something hitting over here? No, it's just nothing. Oh, hi, Fernando. How you doing, man? I'm over here, uh, almost dying, apparently. Jeez. But can we not die, please? Thank you. No, 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 no. Oh, thank you. Okay, so there's one here. And one over here. Makes the thing up or up there. And... And that's it. Give me something good, game. I'll take it. Minty fresh. Alright, and now we look like this. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, she still looks pretty cute in it. But for me, personally, I'm more of a blood moon kind of guy, you know what I mean? I mean, look at this color! With the with the red and black cape, with the and the white hair. Looks really good. So if we wanna move on. Power's been restored in the bedroom. The chapter Subcon Force is now available. We have to go here and grab a certain item in order to move on with Battle of the Birds. But first. You see this little thing of light? Well... This leads to a, like, secret little area in your little pillow fort. And you can press that here. Day 9. Oh my gosh! That big D penguin DJ said I could be a star! I wonder if he means, like, a pop star. Wait, do I have to learn how to sing? Maybe an internet star. No, no. A movie star! DJ Groove says he's going to take care of all that stuff. I just have to show up on set and I'm going to be famous! I can't wait! I just hope I don't have to sing. Yeah, so... Every time you, like, do a level and just go to here, she'll write it in on her little diary. On what, like, on her, thing, on her thoughts. It's a very neat little detail- wait. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Can, can you please get out? Are those... Is that... Are those wine glasses? Oh. Didn't know Hack Kid um, collects those. Anyways, let's go on here. I wasted enough time. On to contractual obligations. So, this is the Subcon Forest. A very eerie forest. And we can't move on to like areas like over here or over there because these weird little fires are blocking the way. We'll figure out what that's doing there later and how to get rid of it. And as for you, I'll talk to you in the next episode. And that's coming from the guy from the future. Anyways, we have to follow this weird ghost kid. Come here, I just wanna... Uh-oh. Oh no. Quick! Attack the thingy! I was pressing the B and A button for some reason. We gotta get out of here before something bad happens. Oh, we can already tell that something's bad gonna happen because the crows were flying away. Oh no. N nothing's happening so far. That means...
Let's see here. Contract. Clean out the subcon well. Find subcon village. Murder the spirits. Clean the subcon well. Following parts of the forest will be available in Act 1 and 2. I'll be keeping the following hostage. Your soul. But keep anything you find on the way. I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of like having my soul, so I'm going to have to say no on that one, bucko. No. Yeah, if you decline him a few times, you just die. I mean, to be fair though, we've seen this whole thing before, where you sign a contract and it ends up just kind of being completely horrible for you, so... I mean, it wasn't completely wrong on declining him. As for that guy, we'll all go into more detail on him when it's relevant. Am I relevant? I mean, in a few minutes. And also, it doesn't matter if how many times you hit the uh, blanket. Not, it, it won't, like, do anything. It just it gives you false hope and just makes the screen shaky. You are forced to be in this blanket and talk to the guy. Anyways, yeah, if we want to move on with this level, we gotta sign it. Well, just like the contract said, he takes our soul away. You feel exceedingly empty inside. And like you said, it's right down right there in our start menu. Pause menu. Anyways, that guy is Snatcher. He's basically your just contract dealer, like spirit ghost guy for these kind of levels. And he's my favorite character in this entire game. Not one, for one thing, his design is pretty good, and the concept of the guy is great. But what makes him even better... ...is that Young Town voices him. Yes. That's right. Young Town. First, there was Xander Mobus, then Jontron, and now Young Town. And Young Town does an amazing job with Snatcher's voice. Like, man is it good. Anyways, this weird thing right here is, uh, ha hi channel. N no, th this thing is not channel. Like, I mean, I mean, hold on. I mean, just, just look at this thing. Th does this look like a, like a cute person in real life? No, no it doesn't. Anyways, what this does is he just guards a thing, and he has his eyes on some certain amount of either items or characters or enemies. 
And you gotta get rid of them. And with these weird cherry things, you gotta bring them to these ghosts and yeet them. And after you've gotten rid of the um, items that the thing is guarding, it just kind of dies. This is some spooky yarn. And hey, we got enough yarn to, to stitch it. One, two, Misto! The Dweller Mask. Press the L to see the world through a dweller's eyes. So this is, well, the Dweller Mask. We won't. Sh I won't show what it, what it's able capable of doing right now because, well, there's nothing really here to sh show off what it really does. But but I will show it off in the next level. But for right now, we've got these weird like firefoxes. Well, at least we found the subcon village. Hold on, let me get back to this. Let me get back to this. Uh, I know I already said that, but whatever. I'm gonna break this ice. These are used to... As I was saying... These are good for... I said... These things... Are good for breaking ice. Ooh, a relic over there. I'm gonna go get that. Oh, first I gotta uh, free this weird, weird painting thing. Might be important later. Oh, another thing of yarn. I gotta go get that. Wait, just a, hang on a second there, relic. Oh, yeet! You just, you just see that manual? That was an epic throw, don't you think? Let me grab uh, this. Oh, nice crayon. Uh, I feel like I forgot what I was supposed to do. Um, not talk to. Why, hello there! You didn't forget about me, did ya? Don't tell me you forgot about me. This is like the weirdest angle for a conversation ever. We have a wooden house. No, sorry, wooded stump house and a giant mushroom, and then the characters are overlapping them. This is just amazing. Hold on. There we go. I'm, I'm gonna save that. What's up? You working on any contractual obligations lately? You better be. Remember our little deal? No, I didn't. Those incredibly annoying fire spirits are sitting right there in the middle of my village. Their little dance is creating these incredibly annoying barriers that stop me from getting the parts of my forest. It's almost like they're trying to put an end to me. How adorable. Dispose of them. I don't care how you do it, as long as they suffer for entering my domain. <laughs> Anyways, back to work, trooper. This isn't a vacation, and I'm getting impatient! Alright, well, thanks for reminding me what I was supposed to do. I kind of forgot what I was supposed to do, honestly. Anyways, hi there. We want to die! Yay! Well, the game was rated T. We want to burn bright, and then burn out. Become a cloud! Smoke. And that's surprisingly a um, PG way of saying to please kill us. Our bonfire needs more fuel. Only the finest paintings will do. Can you help us? Well, seeing as though I'm forced to do this, sure, why not? So, in order to get rid of these guys, you gotta get these paintings and throw them in the bonfire. No, where's the cherry bomb? Here we go. I don't know if these things are called cherry bombs legitimately, um, but I'm gonna call them that because why not? Anyways, yeah, be careful because the explosion will hurt you. 
Anyways, you have to make sure that the paintings are full, either of someone or something, and, and just yeet them into the bonfire. Like so. The bonfires differ in how many you, like paintings you need to throw in there. So it's not always four. Sometimes it's either like three or two. It's just different numbers. Come with me. Yes, sir. Come with me. And hey, thankfully we're almost done. There you go. So after getting rid of this fire spirits, those little firewalls, I wonder if that's what this is actually legitimately called, firewalls. Anyways, those firewalls will be gone and you can explore more of the level. Great, I'm a plumber now? So that means I can kill turtles and get free coins by pinning blocks? Nice! Well, if that's what you call it, then sure, I guess. Well, if it is to you, then I guess it is for me. But anyways, for this one over here... Contract. Get me something from the manor. Enter the manor, find out what's in the attic. The following parts of the forest will be available in Act 4. And on this one... Deliver subcon mail. Deliver packages to 10 of my minions. The following parts of the forest will be available in Act 5. Well, seeing as though this is the easiest, like, mission in the entire game... And I also hate myself! Man, this guy really knows about his legal stuff. It's almost as if he, like, was like a lawyer or something. Wouldn't that be weird? A spirit being a lawyer? Huh. Well, if there's one thing he's good at, it's chugging the game for a second. And if you're wondering if about that other, like, option for the contract, you will be able to do that, um, other mission if you didn't select it later on. That's not important right now. We got a time piece. Huh. Well, that place is available now. Anyways, now that that one's out of the way... We'll have to do the subcon well in the next episode. So tune in next time for when we do, well, that one. But first... Well, seeing as though I'm not going to be using this, um, this file for a long time, unless I need it. Sure, I'll take the brewing hat. No, that's no, all it is. Well... 
I guess it's time to go back to the um, legitimate file that I'm using for this LP. Oh wait, uh... Oh. They're gone. Dang it, how am I supposed to end off this episode? Well, I guess I could show this off. After doing picture perfect, the pictures that were taken will po be posted on this little wall here. Which is very, you know, cute. So yeah, um... In the next episode, we'll be um, doing not just the subcon well, but I also think another, like, level or two over here. I don't remember, like, it's been like, like, I don't know, two hours since I've seen the other video that I've recorded and kept. And I made sure I kept that one. <laughs> but yes, tune in next time for we do subcon well and I think another level. See you guys then. I'm gonna miss this Blood Moon die. But then again, I'm, I can't just get it, like, in the other file. In the little thing, and if I don't get it, I can just redo it over and over again until I do. Wait just a moment. I almost forgot. <laughs> Power has been restored in the basement. The chapter Alpine Skyline is now available. Don't worry, we'll get to there eventually after Battle of the Birds and Subcon Forest is up. Okay. Now we can end off the episode.